here with senior Thomas Taylor to preview the 2018 cross country season. And as we record it, it's just a little, a uh, little over a week away from from the first actual official meet. Uh, I know you elevated uh, yourself to a, a level uh, last year where you're the team's top uh, competitor competitor at, uh, at most of the meets. How, how rewarding was it to, to kind of see the effort that you put in last year or, or over your whole career kind of result in, in that kind of meet? It, it was very rewarding. Um, something that I've been working on since a freshman year in high school. Uh, something I've been so dedicated to. Finally seeing some kind of payoff in the end has been very rewarding. Well, and you were 18th in the the G Pack, uh, yeah. which which means you're really close to, to being all conference, yes. and, and maybe that gives you some extra motivation. How how does that motivate you as a senior, knowing you were really close? It being that close uh, uh, as a junior, it's something that I've been wanting. Like being that close as a senior, it was something that I've been kind of keep it in the back of my mind all track season just like after track season I got to get ready for cross country and you know I want to be in that top 15 even the top 10 and it's not even just for me placing but you know setting an example for the younger guys you got to work hard you got to there's no shortcuts to this sport uh, just trying to get out there and go further on push on when you talk about getting ready for for track as opposed to cross country, is is your training a lot different uh, once you get through cross country? Uh, how does that work for you? So transitioning from cross country into track season, there's a big mileage cut, um, probably about 20 miles a week. So in the cross country, I'm running 60 miles a week, and then I'll probably go down to 40 or even 35 somewhere around there, uh, just because it's harder to get mileage in on the track. Um, and when it's colder out, you don't want to, I don't like being out there for that long, but, um, and it's also just a lot of speed work that gets put into the track aspect of running and training. You know, say around here, you have to be ready for the cold, uh, yes. come November when you're running in the conference championships. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little cold during that time. Uh -huh. right. um, what are some routines that maybe you go for? Uh, go through before a meet to get get yourself physically and maybe mentally prepared, get your mind right for a meet. About how far out would you say? Well, yeah, how about uh, maybe a couple days and then okay. that day of the meet too? Uh, a couple days out, so like Thursday I start mentally preparing, just like, okay, we got a race uh, Saturday. Uh, so that's when hydration really kicks in. Um, I normally drink about 100 some ounces of water today. But then I even amp it up a little bit more. Um, that's when I really start take, watch what I'm taking into my body. I start doing uh, a lot of protein loading and then carb loading on the Friday night before the race. But then meet day, I normally try and, I don't isolate myself, but I get in this mode where I'm, I just turn it on and then like that's, how I am during that race, during prepping, I there's a certain point where I stop joking around and just get down to business. Like, okay, we're just this, this race time. We gotta go up in the training for so it's serious. Mm -hmm. Maybe it sounds funny to to ask this, but I mean, what what do you actually think about while you're in the middle of a race? <laughs> I always think this sucks, this sucks, I want to be done. Oh, I got another mile left. Let's try and push through. Uh -huh. Maybe I can survive. You're not thinking, okay, I got I to gotta catch that guy, I got to catch that guy. I also think yeah. that, but very seldomly. Uh, I know as, as a team you guys play six, and I, I think we're hoping that maybe you could be a, a little bit higher last year. What, what do you remember about maybe the feeling after that meet and, and how that kind of pushes you to this year? Um, it was honestly, I can't say a let down because I'm still proud of the guys, that of the work they put in, the racing that they had done. But reflecting back on the first meet of the season last year, we were like we were almost first in the conference because we had, we had raced against Dora, we had raced against Morningside, and we beat them. For, and we were even racing at the uh, conference championship course, which was endured. Um, 
and knowing that we didn't do as well the second time around as we did the first time after getting all that other training in, it was kind of a bummer. But we also used that as motivation for this year that we're, we're going to put in all this work and try and be a lot better than six this year. How about of all the courses that you've gotten a chance to run in during your college career, do you, I mean, do you have a favorite one? Uh, I mean, maybe and maybe there's one that's most favorable to to your style too. Um, <laughs> Briarcliff was a really flat and fast course, and I really like that. Uh, it really, it's more of a track setting, and I like how fast you're able to go. But then it's also fun to go on some challenging courses, such as uh, Dort's course. It has a few hills in it. Um, but I think one of the most favorite courses I've ever had to run on because it was on such a big setting was the Roy Griak uh, Invite My Freshman Year. Uh, we were out in Minnesota, and that is a very challenging course. It's, you're running on sides of hills, you're running up hills. It's, it's a challenging course, and I've liked that. Well, well, I know you've gotten to experience the national championships in track. What what would that mean to you to be able to get that experience in cross country? It would mean so much. It, being able to go uh, to nationals for cross country, indoor and outdoor, having that experience, it being able to compete on such a big level, a big like field of people to go race with, that would be it mean a lot, and I think our best chance is this year to do it, because um, we have Josiah coming to run with us, and we have um, a few other track athletes that are trained with us that are able to there that are there to be able to push us during practice and also compete with us during the races. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say I think there's maybe a, a f at least a couple, maybe it's one one on the guys, one on the women's that competed in track that did do cross country last year. Yeah. Not sure what the numbers are exactly, but maybe, what, is, what kind of boost does that give you guys? I know Josiah has a chance to have mm -hmm. a, a good cross country yes, season. Yes, he too. does. He, yeah. He's been training all summer, I know that. We've been talking over the summer and he's been putting in some good miles. Um, I know some of the other kids, uh, even freshmen, they're going to be, they've been putting in some good miles and really looking forward to the season. But we have a lot of good people coming out, uh, such as Josiah. He didn't really compete so much on the team last year, but he was doing this training and he was running with us a few times, but he was putting in some good work. And with, with him being an addition to the team, it's really going to push us forward and into that probably top three in the conference or even maybe top two. I was going to say there are a lot of guys that were freshmen last year on the team. What have you noticed from, from that group now? Um, they have grown a lot. Um, we've had a few injuries here and there. Uh, one of them was JP during the track season. He got a little banged up. But CBC, he's been putting in some good work. I saw the work during track. Um, he, I think he has a good chance of coming out and having a good cross country season. Also, Jordan Lorenz, uh, he did had a really, really good track season in the 10K. Um, so if he, if he gets some good times down for uh, cross country, that'd be great for his track season. Team. I was going to say, with, with all that in mind from a, a team perspective, I know you, you kind of touched on where you guys feel like maybe you can be in the, the conference. Uh, what, what kind of things do you guys talk about amongst yourselves as teammates trying to accomplish? We definitely want to score a certain place in conference. I mean, I know every team in the con like in our conference does. They want to be in that top three because that's it, our conference is very, it's a very competitive conference, uh, especially in the long distance part. Um, with that being said, we we haven't really gone over any team goals yet, but I already know that we're going to want to be in the top three. We want to be, you know, conference runner up. We want to have a content like contention for a national qualifying mark. Uh, take a team to nationals in a few years, so 